I just got another box of Travis Scott's in the mail from HyperRoll.ru. So today is going to be another unboxing video, and I'm pretty much going to show you the difference with these and a pair that looks very, very bad, very, very fake. If you did not watch my last video, I freaking love sneakers. If none of you guys are aware, I'm building a small collection of myself, but I travel so frequently, I can't really have too much. For example, these are a couple of the pairs that I actually have with me. Number one is the Travis Scott Phantom. Number two is going to be the Palomino Jordan 1 Highs. This is actually my all-time favorite pair. It's the V1 Pirate Black Jordans. When I was like 18, these were like two grand resale, and I wanted them so bad. But whenever they redid them for like 500 bucks, I had to cop these. And then the other Travis Scott. So today, man, I'm just gonna unbox the high fragments. Now the fragments, they actually pretty much go for about $3,000 on StockX. Now this is a company in China who makes them themselves and then they ship them out to you at a much better price than the $3,000. It's in China. They make the other Travis Scott's in China. So today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna legit check these sneakers from China and go step by step on if they look legit or if they look like fake Chinese sneakers. So let's get it, man. So it came in a big box, a brown box. I threw that box away. So now we have this, it comes with this plastic thing and we're just gonna take this off. And that is the box. Now we're just gonna open it up. Boom. We have the Travis Scott paper. If you do not know, it comes with the pink paper. You open it. That's what we're working with, babe. Now, first impressions initially, man, the quality of these, it's freaking insane. So if you've never felt a real pair of Travis Scott's, they feel heavy. They feel like you feel the real leather. Like they are very legit. These feel really solid in hand, man. First legit check that we're gonna do, we're gonna check the tongue. So on the inside, so if a pair is fake, what the tongue's gonna have, the writing is gonna be all over. It's not gonna really be straight and look really good. This one, on the other hand, it's pretty much straight across. The writing looks good. This passes the legit check thus far. By the way, guys, this is literally from legitcheck.com, something like that, I believe. So this is like what StockX, GOAT, they used to legit check their sneakers, if you wanted to know. Up next is going to be the color. This one's kind of hard to tell just because the lighting is always different, but it's supposed to kind of look like this like royal blue almost. And this one, the color looks on point. Pretty small detail, but if you look at the tab on the back, so if it's a fake pair, this is actually gonna be much, much shorter, but this is quite a bit longer. You can see the photo attached. This one looks just like the real pair. This might be a little bit difficult to pick up on camera, but if you look at the tongue once again, it should pretty much have the copyright logos. They should be clean and minimal. They shouldn't be super bulky and blocky. It's a very small detail, but that's how to know if it looks real or fake. Up next, the stitching on the bottom. So the stitching, it shouldn't be too long and it should not be too thin. So on a fake pair, it's gonna look super long and super thin. But these, they are thicker and they're shorter with the threading. They look very, very clean. Now I'm just gonna show you my pair of Palominos directly from Nike.com if you don't believe me. Look at the Palominos, look at the stitching right there. And then you look at the stitching on these, they literally look completely identical. They look the exact same. The thing when it comes to the stitching is right here, if these are too thin, like it doesn't look properly stitched, once again, it's going to look like a fake pair. You do not want to be caught rocking shoes that look fake. So if you are gonna get any other shoes other than the ones directly from StockX or GOAT, they, they gotta pass the legit check, man. All right, now we're going over to the Jordan logo itself. So if you look right here at the wings, pretty much on a fake pair, they're gonna be super dense together. Like there's not gonna be too much space, but on these, they're more spread apart. They look just like the authentic ones. Also on this logo, so pretty much the Air Jordan itself, on an authentic pair, it's going to be a little bit thinner font-wise. And on a fake pair, there's gonna be a lot of space. It's gonna look like a bold font versus the normal font. That's gonna be another way to legit check these. For me, this was one of the easiest ways to tell that this was a very authentic pair. So if you look in the back, that little logo right there, if it's fake, the lightning to the S, it's gonna be further apart. It doesn't look as good. This one though, it looks exactly like the real ones, man. That's another pass for the legit show. Hard to actually see this on camera, but if they are fake, the actual front of the shoe is gonna be closer to the ground. There's not gonna be this space right here, but there is the space which means that it passes the legit check once again. Now we're going to the toe box of the shoe itself. So if it's a fake pair, the holes themselves will be smaller and more dense, but an authentic pair, they're gonna be a little bit bigger and look just more real. You know, in this, obviously the holes are nice and big. They look very legit. 
I did a lot of research on this actually. So this is gonna be the best, quickest way to tell if one of these is real or fake. And it's quite simply looking at this font right here. So look at the photo attached. If it is a fake pair, the text is gonna be really thin because on the low top version, the text is thinner, but on the high top, it's going to be much thicker. If it looks like it's in bold, it's going to be a legit pair of sneakers. But if it looks like that really thin font, and even if you're out in public, if you wanna see if someone's sneakers are real or fake, just look at it right there. So that is the quickest way to tell. And this one, obviously, the font is quite bold. It's legit. So with these guys, we also get four pairs of laces. So we get the black laces, and then the white, and then the pink, and then the blue laces. Comment down below what laces you think I should rock. I'm thinking right now I might either go with the black or the pink. I haven't had pink laces on any of my shoes. I think it looked pretty sick, but yeah. I also love how many laces they include in the shoe. Just a couple other things to note with the sneaker itself. It has a very pungent scent. It smells just like a new sneaker. Overall, like I said, the quality is freaking insane. Oh, I also love this. It comes with the Velcro right there. And then on the inside, it has like that pink. I freaking love it. Then it has the Cactus Jack embroidered on the side with the white. I freaking love this shoe, man. I love the Travis Scotts. I love Jordans. You just feel kind of like a G whenever you wear them, especially if you wear something classy with it. I like the contrast between the G and the classiness, in my opinion. And I think having trendier sneakers, I'm not going to lie, it kind of elevates your fashion. Like I've spoken about on my channel, there is different things that you can do, different strategies to get a halo effect. And I think this, as opposed to just like a boring shoe that everybody else was wearing, the Air Forces, this steps you up one level. So I think switching off between these, so these, you can run errands in them, you can hit the gym in them, which is exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna go on a fancy date, on a fancy night out, get married in shoes like these. So you need the contrast and overall, you need some swag, man. These will help elevate your personal style like crazy to the next level. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little montage of me actually wearing the sneakers, and that's it for today, man. Another awesome pair of sneakers from Hyperroad.ru. I'm looking forward to working them with them in the future. Like you guys know, I'm very picky with who I actually choose to do collaborations with. So obviously, if I'm collaborating with them, that means I freaking like their product, I love their sneakers. So yeah, man, here's the montage. Let's get it.